Traveling Kansas Rooks County is underwritten in part by the Rooks County Economic Development. Opportunity awaits in Rooks County. Visit the Rooks County website at rookscounty.net to explore opportunities to stay, play, and grow. By Keller Motors of Palco, always offering a great selection of pre-owned cars backed by a complete body and service department, 24-hour towing, and 24-hour fuel. Owners Myron and Rachel Keller are proud to continue the tradition of service to Rooks County and Western Kansas since 1998. And brought to you in part by Rooks County Health Center, providing the highest quality health care to Rooks County and the region since 1955. Featuring a modern hospital facility, offering state-of-the-art equipment and services to serve Northwest Kansas. Quality, compassionate health care close to home. Learn more at rookscountyhealthcenter.com. Farm Implement Supply of Plainville and Colby has been serving farmers since 1945 and they are proud to be part of Rooks County and Western Kansas. They hope you enjoy this special episode that shares a little bit of Rooks County history and what makes it such a special place to work and live. This program is brought to you by the Kansas Department of Wildlife, Parks and Tourism. Find out more information about Kansas communities at TravelKS.com. I'm Roger Rabbi. I'm the Economic Development Director in Rooks County, and we're standing in front of the Rooks County Courthouse, which was built in 1921 and is on the National Register of Historic Places. It has some interesting features, the, the marble that is on each of the floors, the marble staircase here, marble on the walls, uh, the original tiles on the floor. Uh, a lot of this was imported, and so uh, it's unique in that sense. And uh, at the time, it cost $300,000 to build this uh, building, which in 1921 was a lot of money. Rooks County is uh, named after uh, Private Rooks, who fought in uh, the Civil War, uh, was killed at the Battle of Prairie Grove, Arkansas, which uh, Rooks County is the only county in Kansas that's named after a private. My name is Sue McFarland. I'm the museum coordinator here at the Rooks County Historical Museum. And welcome. I think this is a very special place. Rooks County's population base is just right under 6,000. And for us to have a museum of this quality, I think says a lot about Rooks County. So let me tell you a little bit about the museum. We have, we are filled to the gills and there is a lot to see here. One of the things that's really worthwhile to come in and see is the scrapbook on the old Thomas barn. It was reputed to be the biggest barn in Kansas at the time. It was ordered in 1910, finished in 1912 for a cost of $8,000. And they, they spent a lot of money to renovate it and they were just weeks away from opening when it got struck by lightning and burned to the ground. We have census records that start with like 1903 going all the way up to 2011. We have a lot of obituaries which we're indexing. We have birth records, we have applications for marriage licenses, and those go from 1913 to 1974. We are open on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays, or by appointment. We will never charge admission. We're supported by the county. This is their museum. You know, it's a good thing. I used to think people didn't care about history. Wrong, 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 wrong. All of Western Kansas likes their history. I'm so thankful Rooks County has decided that this is an endeavor worth funding. It's an impressive museum for anybody, but especially if you're from out of town, it gives you a good flavor of, of where Rooks County is, 
what Rooks County was. We tried to tell the stories of the remarkable settlers who came here. There are six incorporated communities in Rooks County. Uh, Plainville has the largest population with just under 2,000 people. Uh, Stockton with just around 1,400 people. And then we have Palco, uh, DeMar, uh, Zurich, Woodston, and then the unincorporated town of Codell that is courses is in Ripley's, believe it or not, for the event that uh, happened there. Uh, in 1916, 17, and 18, they had a tornado hit. Uh, the town the same day, May 20th, in each of those three successive years. So it's kind of the death knell, a little bit of that community, but it's still, uh, they're uh, thriving. Ricks County has a very diverse economy, but uh, agriculture and oil are, are probably the two biggest industries that we have. Uh, the largest employer in the county is the Ricks County Health Center in, in Plainville, which was a new hospital built in 2008. I'm A.J. Thomas. I'm the Chief Executive Officer at Rooks County Health Center, uh, just outside of Plainville, Kansas, in Rooks County. We look to continue to grow in the future. We're building on right now, and we will continue to add more and more services to the area. What is the most exciting part about um, being at Rooks County Health Center and the things that we do is not only is it about uh, what we do in terms of health care, but it's the high quality and high service that we really strive for. Um, most of our new initiatives every year are based on quality. Um, it's not just a focus on uh, the outside, but it's a focus on internally. One of the things that I really push to our employees is the fact that we may have done this procedure 10 times today, we may have done it 100 times this month or this year, but for that patient, it's the one time that they're going to go through it. And that's important because we're going to treat them with the respect and everything. We're going to make sure they feel comfortable and know that they're the most important thing to us. Um, and what they're going through is a life-changing event, but possibly. And that that is important to us. And so we're treating everyone like it's the only one we do. So not only do we serve Rooks County as our primary service area, but we also draw from a lot of Northwest Kansas. Um, as, as one of the only level four uh, hospitals in the area, we really have linked the emergency medical services and the hospital together to make sure that that transition of care is, is seamless. Some of the things that we're really proud of here at Rooks County Health Center is, is our Doctors Without Delay Clinic, which is the first walk-in clinic in the region. Um, and not only is it a walk-in clinic, it's a one-stop shop for, for your medical services and medical needs. But what happens is you no longer have to Go be seen at a doctor at one spot, go get your labs work somewhere else, go get your MRI somewhere else. It can all be done here. And that works really well considering our new MRI unit and our new MRI facility. We have some of the highest trained radiology technologists um, that really specialize in making you feel comfortable, not only getting high quality images, but making sure the patient is the center of those images. It is not only the largest bore of MRI that they make, but it is a comforting area to be in. You control a lot of the, the things around you. In addition to our MRI services, we also offer nuclear medicine services in-house. In and now you don't have to go somewhere to get your bone scanned. You don't have to go somewhere to get your thyroid scanned. That's something that can be done here, once again, with very highly trained x-ray technologists that really put you first. And that's what's important to us. It's not, you're not just another number at Rooks County Health Center. You are what's important to us as a patient. So something that's amazing we offer here is, is deliveries. Women being able to have their babies close to home. And not only are they having them close to home, they get to have them with their physician. So their doctor that's followed them that full nine months is also in the labor and delivery room with them. Another service that we offer here at Rooks County Health Center is a doula service. And that's something that's really breakthrough in the region. And we offer it as a free service. And a doula, if you don't know, is someone that's really an advocate for the mom. So that doula is there to make sure that mom gets what she needs and be an advocate, help her through all those processes. If something's of concern, 
That's a free service that we offer at Rooks County Health Center that's just not offered anywhere else. One of the quality initiatives that we really focus on here at Rooks County Health Center is making sure that mom and baby after the delivery are as close as possible. But mom, baby, dad, family system, that's what's important and we make sure that we have that connection. We offer a full gamut of services. The doctor comes here and takes care of you here. Your follow-ups are here, your procedures are here, everything is done in-house and that's what's important. And not only do we have those, but we're only going to continue to grow and offer with our new expansion. We'll have more room to offer physicians to come here and provide high quality care. Quality is the key that makes sure that the patient gets what they need. Every employee has to go through a quality check um, to make sure that they are doing what they should be doing and not only be doing that, but exceeding what they should be doing. Uh, name, Steve Wilkins, uh, Wilkins Manufacturing, Vice President. This is Wilkins Manufacturing. We're a manufacturer of live floor trailers, uh, belt trailers. Um, we do a lot with the bulk industry as for hauling um, and supply those people that are from wood to agricultural products, um, typically. But it's a special niche. It's, uh, it's self-unloading. So you hit a button and whatever is in the trailer, depends on what model it is, from 15 minutes down to one minute unload time. So uh, they can get a lot of work done uh, with our product. Well, the facility is around um, uh, 116,000 square feet, uh, this facility, and we manufacture trailers. We build them from the ground up, as you can see from the, from the get-go, uh, all the way through into a completed product. We customize trailers. Uh, so if a guy wants a trailer that is, has special bells and whistles, um, we do to cater to his needs. We've always been a Kansas, uh, Kansas company. Um, um, from where we were to where we are today, uh, we're 45 years uh, in business, and so uh, employees in this area are great. I mean, they're, they, they've got good at work ec ethics. The um, uh, farming community is where we're at, and um, uh, we have somewhere around close to 90 people employed. We cover uh, all over the United States, uh, Hawaii, we've shipped trailers to, um, to uh, Australia. One's going to New Zealand right now. Uh, Puerto Rico, um, uh, Alaska, uh, all over. Our plant is located five miles south of Stockton, um, just right on the highway, 183 highway. Uh, we've been here at this location since 94, uh, so um, actually 95, we've been at this location here. And we have a pretty good uh, location. We have in between I-70 and I-80, this is what we're told is the shortest distance. So we have a lot of truck traffic that goes by here. Freight-wise coming in from I-70, I-80, um, it, it's a good location. If people are interested in employment or in, interested in trailers, um, uh, 800 Wilkins is the quickest way to get a hold of us, but we're website uh, Wilkins Trailers or Wilkins Manufacturing, uh, you can find us on the web. My name is Chuck Como, and you're here at uh, Dustin Fernier's uh, corporate headquarters in Plainville, Kansas. We're a design and manufacturing firm. We actually uh, design products for interior designers, so that varies from uh, furniture, textiles, lighting, architectural hardware, leathers, hand-painted panels, wall coverings, uh, anything within the interior design business. After we started the company, originally we were based uh, in Los Angeles and one of the things that we came across right away was it was very hard to find a talented pool of people. Um, I continued to live here in Plainville, Kansas and um, we started uh, bringing on people to help me here um, when I'd come home from being in LA and ultimately we came to, you know, we came to realize that the, the talent pool here was far better than what we were able to actually hire in Los Angeles. So um, it, it was about five years after we started the company, um, everything that wasn't, didn't have to be done in Los Angeles, uh, we um, moved to Plainville, Kansas. Um, so everything administrative, accounting, um, social media, um, marketing, legal, design, 
Anything that doesn't have to be done in LA is actually here in Plainville, Kansas now. As we, as we grew and as we started, um, you know, technology has become a bigger and bigger and bigger piece of, of what we do. And as a result of that, it actually frees us up to do more and more and more here. And um, it's, it, you know, it's a direct result of having the high-speed internet in rural communities. Um, and we find we have an excellent talent pool here of people who are interested in doing things that aren't always what you expect to find in a, in a rural community. You know, it, it helps if you're from a small community because you understand the intrinsic beauty of, of living in a rural community. It's, it's not always easy for somebody um, who grew up in a city to, to see a small town and understand, you know, what's really great about it. Um, I think that for, you know, people who are from Kansas or who are from rural communities, uh, as a result of technology, we, you know, the world's very small and we can do just about anything from, from our home and still have a quality of life that we can't really get uh, when you have to, when you're forced to move to a city. Um, I, th I think the big thing that uh, we're most excited by is, is the number of, of young people who really are making a choice to stay in their, in their rural communities as opposed to going, as long as there's opportunities. These spots, like, like Plainville, um, are ideal locations for lots of you know, businesses. I just think they, they don't realize um, the, the, the quality of labor and labor talent that we have here. Um, as well as the fact that the, you know, there is a real quality that you can't get anywhere else. Ricks County Airport is one of the newest airports in the state of Kansas and uh, it has meant a great deal to the county economic wise, uh, especially to uh, Ricks County Health Center which providers are flown in on a regular basis that come in and do uh, specific procedures. Uh, but it's also meant a lot, we've counted as many as probably 30 to 40 businesses that are directly affected by business that comes in through the airport. So it has meant a great deal to the uh, county's economy. Uh, Ricks County has a, a very strong outdoor recreation uh, business, uh, mostly due to uh, Webster Lake and State Park, as well as smaller lakes uh, like Plainville Township Lake and Ricks County State Fishing Lake. Hi, my name is Zach Kessler. I'm the park manager at Webster State Park. Uh, Webster State Park is located east of Stockton, about nine miles, or west of Hill City, approximately uh, 23 miles. Webster Reservoir was finished in 1956, and the state park was designated in 1965. Currently, the reservoir is about a foot and a half above conservation pool. The lake's looking really good. Uh, we've had some decent rains over the last few years to bring the lake up. Some people have been catching some walleye, um, a few crappie, uh, quite a few white bass and wipers. So the, the reservoir is uh, picking up and as the years, next few years go, it should be a lot better uh, fishing wise. Um, we have six campgrounds. Uh, 93 utility sites total. One of them is an electric water sewer site. 83 of them are electric and water sites. Six of them are just electric only sites. And we have approximately 100 primitive sites throughout the lake as well. Um, and people can use, use those sites. Also, they can come and use the beach. Um, we have a swimming beach here on the north side of the lake. Uh, ample parking for everybody to use, so it's a good area for them to for them to use during the day. In the fall, we have a lot of geese, ducks, um, even some eagles that migrate through. So we have Coyote uh, Coyote Hiking Trail. It's in a three-mile interpretive trail. Um, also, in the fall, we use that for a cross-country meet that Stockton hosts. So they have a cross-country meet out here in the middle of September. So that's a pretty neat event we have. Reservations can be made for Webster State Park campsites at kshuntfishcamp.com or the, you can call the office at 785-425-6775 and we'd be happy to help you with any questions or reservations. Probably two of the biggest recreational opportunities we have uh, related to the communities are, uh, one is the, is the golf course, Ricks County Golf Course is a, is a nice nine hole course. Plainville and Stockton have both got new swimming pools that are uh, 
really they're water parks is what they are for small towns. And both of them uh, are heavily used, and they're used by not only the members of the community, but they're used by members from other communities uh, because of the low cost. Plainville has always had uh, free uh, swimming at their, their water park, and so they get visitors from uh, other areas that come to town to take advantage of that. Hi, I'm Laura Moffat with the Rooks County Free Fair Board. I've been part of the Fair Board Association for five years now. We have been holding fairs um, for the most part annually, depending on wars and droughts and other occasions where the fair was maybe was not held that year. But we've been ho holding it annually for 139 years now. So it is. It began in October, and now is traditionally held on the second full week of August. Many of our limestone historical buildings were built in 1937 as part of the WPA program. We started out with this beautiful grandstand that we have. It holds 3,700 people. We have designated this beautiful stadium as Ostermeyer Stadium, which is named after George Butch Ostermeyer, who was part of our fair for over 30 years. He served as secretary. So we're very proud of all of our buildings. Um, we also have a building to the south of this um, grandstand that held all of the livestock when it was built. And then we also have a McCaslin Hall, which used to be the, named the Floral Hall, and that is where all of the ladies' exhibits were showcased. The Rooks County Free Fair has many traditions and history. It's an intimate part of Rooks County. A lot of class reunions are held. A lot of families often get together and they look forward to coming each year to the Rooks County Free Fair. It's brought tons of memories to our families and our friends and our community. It's something that Rooks County is very proud of having and being a part of. Some of the early events that we used to have is we started out with harness races, baseball, and running were some of our first events. We have now transitioned into car races, a demolition derby, motorcycle races, and of course our livestock because we are an agriculture fair. So that is where our producers and our young 4-H'ers can show their livestock and their products that they are so proud of growing and raising throughout the year. You can visit our website for details on our list of entertainment at rickscountyfreefair.com. Woodston has uh, a, a church, the Ashrock Church, that is one of the oldest churches in the state of Kansas. My name is Brenda Lucas. I work at the McKinnis Center here in Palco, Kansas. And the McKinnis Center was built in 2014. Neighbor rancher and farmer uh, willed money to the city of Palco to put in a facility for the youth. Um, he loved the youth and, and loved to, to be around kids. So they put in this center. Our facility here is, is amazing. I mean, we have a movie theater. We have a teen room where the kids can go in and play pool. We have foosball. We have obviously the movie theater that seats 75 people. Um, we have fairly new releases um, every weekend. We have a multi-purpose room that we rent out for various purposes, birthdays, meetings, um, anything. The kids also use that to play ping pong, that type of thing. We have some gentlemen that come in and play cards. We have a uh, quite extensive weight room. With a membership, you receive a 24-hour access card. So you can go in any time, day or night, and use our equipment and get fit. We are located at 311 Main Street in Palco, Kansas. We're right beside the city park. Um, at the city park, um, when the McKenna Center was put in, they also put in uh, various playground equipment and a slider or a zipper slide, and so the kids have a lot of fun out there. I think the number one thing that people say when they come in is, wow. I mean, they just cannot believe that we have something like this in our very tiny town of Palco. To touch base with us and see what movies we have playing or activities we have scheduled, you can go to mckennayouthcenter.weebly.com. You can reach us on Facebook. Um, we have 
a post on Instagram. You can find out what show's playing there. My name is Len Shamber, and I'm a resident here of DeMar, and uh, I'm happy to tell you about this uh, particularly beautiful church uh, called St. Joseph Catholic Church, and, and, uh, which was built in, uh, by uh, uh, Acadian uh, people from Canada, you know, and uh, if you look on the, on the sign when you come into DeMar, you'll see that it says uh, DeMar is Acadia of the West. And those people are the people that came here uh, this is a Romanesque style uh, church, and uh, it was, uh, it, it's been said many times that it was uh, kind of uh, built after the style of some churches in the Montreal, Toronto, Quebec area, and that may or may not be true. The, um, the architect of this particular building was a, a man from uh, Emporia. Any building is important because of the people. That's why it's important. I mean, they may in and of themselves have great beauty, great architecture, great history, et cetera, but they're because of the people that decided to, to make them, to construct them and design them. The building was uh, started in 1912, and it was mostly completed within the first few years, but then it went on, it drug on for a few years to about 1917, and it was more or less completed at that time as they knew completion. But the completion excluded a lot of what you see now. It didn't have the pews. Uh, these, incidentally, these pews are from the post-World War II. These are the original pews. Prior to that, there were benches in here. There was a wooden floor in here, uh, a tongue and groove wooden floor. The rosé windows were here, but they didn't have the, the stained glass in them. Uh, none of the stenciling was done. It was essentially all one color. These columns uh, are original, and uh, they date back to when the church was built, uh, and they are called Scagliola. And Scagliola is a plasterized marble. So the stone itself is a, is a very hard limestone. It's of the post-rock type limestone, which is a pretty hard limestone. Each family was required to participate either with money or with labor to help the contractors build the church. We welcome you to come and share the beauty of uh, St. Joseph Catholic Church, DeMar, Kansas. Uh, it is a beautiful place. Uh, it's a beautiful building, beautiful edifice, and it has a lot of things to tell people about history. We'd like you to come to Brooks County to visit all the things we have to see and do uh, here in the county. Uh, you can find out more that we have in, at the website at rookscounty.net. Uh, but more importantly, we'd like you to come and visit uh, the, each of the cities and see exactly what it is that we have to offer. Traveling Kansas, Rooks County is underwritten in part by the Rooks County Economic Development. Opportunity awaits in Rooks County. Visit the Rooks County website at rookscounty.net to explore opportunities to stay, play, and grow. By Keller Motors of Palco, always offering a great selection of pre-owned cars backed by a complete body and service department, 24-hour towing, and 24-hour fuel. Owners Myron and Rachel Keller are proud to continue the tradition of service to Rooks County and Western Kansas since 1998. And brought to you in part by Rooks County Health Center, providing the highest quality health care to Rooks County and the region since 1955. Featuring a modern hospital facility, offering state-of-the-art equipment and services to serve Northwest Kansas. Quality, compassionate health care close to home. Learn more at RooksCountyHealthCenter.com. Farm Implement Supply of Plainville and Colby has been serving farmers since 1945 and they are proud to be part of Rooks County and Western Kansas. They hope you enjoy this special episode that shares a little bit of Rooks County history and what makes it such a special place to work and live. This program is brought to you by the Kansas Department of Wildlife, Parks and Tourism. Find out more information about Kansas communities at TravelKS.com.